Okay. That looks like a twist. Okay. Let's see. So, Gemini. Uh, overall energy I see is that someone's stuck on you. All right. Definitely someone's stuck on you with the Six of Swords in reverse here. Let's see. What's the Six of Swords in reverse? What's the Six of Swords in reverse? Yeah. Someone is not ready to accept this ending, okay? There's been an ending between you guys, okay? Or whatever, but there is unfinished business. Yeah, someone refuses to shut this chapter with you. This is the person who's stuck on you. Someone who either tried to move on from you, okay? But they couldn't. But someone wants to come back because things are not over between you guys. If you think it's over, think again. What's the world in reverse? Yeah, see, there was an ending here, right? But this person wants to come back towards you, okay? Because um, with the death here, definitely, okay? This, there has been an ending, like I said, but I think this person was someone who tried to run away from change, from transition, okay? This person knew that um, there was a change that was needed here, okay? But with the death here, I feel as overall energy here, there is a huge change, a huge transformation that's going on in your relationship within the connection out here, okay? And that's something that this person was avoiding for a very long time here. But the pet card is something, it's an inevitable change, right? That's something that you need to change. You need to let it go in order for the new to come in. And that's what this person is going through. Yeah, I think that putting an end to their old patterns is what I'm getting, okay? The world in reverse is repeating negative patterns, okay? That's why you feel stuck and stagnant. You're just going in circles with someone, okay? Six of Swords in reverse is also similar energy where you know you need to move forward. You need to, um, you know... Um, go through a certain uh, change in order to go forward smoothly okay but that's what this person keeps doing they keep coming back to you but they know that in order to move forward with you they need to make a certain change which is outside their comfort zone but they were refusing to do it that's what's happening now Ace of Pentacles, okay. See, Knight of Pentacles in reverse here. This could be a situation where you felt strung along or there was just no momentum here. You were fed up and, of, and sick of investing into a relationship where uh, things were just not moving fast enough or this person was just non-committal, okay. Any of it. All right, let's see. How you view them as the Ace of Pentacles. So you view this person as someone who, who, who sees who wants a golden opportunity with you, uh, wanting to stabilize and materialize um, this connection into something committed into a relationship. That's you view. That's how you view them. Give me one card for the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, but they see you as giving up. They see you as someone who walked away from their mind games. Okay, they see you as giving up. You just felt like you were defeated. Okay, but um, because this person was trying to sabotage the connection over and over again. Give me one more card. The Five of Swords in reverse. This person literally pushed you over. Yeah, see, you walked away from the from this person because this was someone who was making things very, very toxic. Yeah, with the devil here. They see you as someone who's given up a connection. Because something was just too toxic for you to handle. You walked away from a toxic connection. That's how they view you. And now they view you as someone who wants a brand new beginning uh, or this is how they, this is what they want with you. Okay, but they do see you with Ace of Pentacles yeah, as someone they want commitment with. Okay, although you walked away from them, yeah, this person probably wants to reconcile. Okay, but I see them as viewing you as someone who walked away from a connection that was very toxic. Okay, with the devil here. You felt chained, tied, restricted, bound to, okay, it was just something not very good for your higher self. How does the person you're dealing with view you? They view you as the Eight of Wands in reverse. So they view you as someone who's being non-communicative right now. You know, the Eight of Wands in reverse is the card. Was things were moving too fast. There was a lot of progress that was made. But I feel the progress was going on too fast, okay? And uh, one person here couldn't handle it. And that's why things have come to like a screeching halt is how they view you. Why is the Eight of Wands in reverse here? They see you as someone not being communicative. Yeah, see? They see you as someone who's just no longer investing into them. The Knight of Pentacles wanted to come out before also. We see you as someone who stopped communicating with them, okay, and they're no longer investing. Because again, this is someone who was uh, not offering you anything committed, anything stable, empty promises. Someone lacked loyalty or just was um, uh, lacking the dedication to make things work. This is for a few of you. What's the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, okay, this person definitely views you as someone who is non-committal, okay? Yep. 
this person views you as non kinder also yeah gemini if this could be you you're on this side here then you could be viewing this person as someone who's stop communicating and uh, as someone who's just not putting in the effort and they view as someone non kinder okay and gemini you view this person as someone who wants a brand new beginning with you but you drop this person okay because this person was very toxic you just let this person go again okay, the ten of swords here in your feelings gemini is a ten of swords and you feel backstabbed betrayed cheated by this person here okay something ended badly between you guys what's the ten of swords here why do you feel this way yeah in your feelings give me one more card for the queen of swords in reverse here you cut this person off you're just not communicating why is the queen of swords in reverse here page of wands here So this person is um, the one who's here, right, on this side. You feel like this person is giving you the silent treatment, okay, or you're giving this person the silent treatment, okay? You feel this person is completely cut you off, very spiteful, very cold-hearted. They're being very cold-hearted, very resentful towards you, okay. But with the page of wands here, you also feel like talking to this person, okay? In your in your feelings, in your emotions, you want to converse with this person for sure, okay? But you're afraid because this person's just cut you off. And you feel very cheated, very passed out. But with the Ten of Swords, you also feel that this is a lot of over exertion. Okay, you are over exaggerating the uh, the situation. If not, I think there's a lot of overthinking and over analyzing going on on your side here. And that's that. It's like that nervous breakdown. Okay, you feel like this nervous breakdown here. Something hit rock bottom. Okay, for sure. And things ended very painfully. Yeah. You probably feel at the start that this person is like one hundred percent, one hundred twenty percent done, done with you, yeah, because they've cut you off. But you still want to talk to them. You want to converse with them. You want to, you want to communicate with them. This person feels with the five of wands in reverse here that um, what's the five of wands in reverse? Why do they feel the five of wands in reverse here? Four of swords. Give me one more card. Give me one more card for the four of swords. Give me four, one more card for the four of swords. Dude, give me one more card. Okay. Yeah. This person out here is waiting for you to reach out, waiting for you to communicate, waiting for you to talk to them. But they're not gonna make that move, okay? Because they've given up on this connection. Five of Wands in reverse here. This person is just not ready to entertain you anymore because you're bringing in a lot of drama, a lot of chaos, a lot of tension, arguments in their life. Okay, they're done fighting for you. This person could feel that they there's a lot of competition. Okay, or they didn't know where they literally stood in your uh, stood in your life, and they're done with it. Okay, they're fed up. They don't want to fight this connection anymore. They don't want to fight for you anymore. Is what I'm getting. They're looking away. It's still the three of wands. Yes. So I feel this person is turning their back towards you, but they're looking away from you. They're waiting for you to communicate. You want to have a hand here, okay? With the ten of swords, you know there's been an ending here, okay? But you're afraid probably to communicate with this person because they're showing up as the queen of swords in reverse in your feelings, which is someone really nasty with their mouth or someone who's hypercritical. You do definitely see this person as someone who's just not ready to talk to you. Okay. You anyways view them as someone who's um, given up, but you do view them as someone you want a brand new beginning with. You view them as someone who wants who. You want to have a new beginning with, and they view you as non-committal, and that's one of the reasons why. I mean, this person could have gone through a lot with you. They could have given you a lot of chances, or you could have given them a lot of chances. Okay, and now they're just going to turn their back, but they're still waiting for you to come towards you, for you to come towards them. But with the four of swords, they're thinking a lot about the situation. You know, but they're just not saying anything because with the five of wands in reverse, yeah, this is a situation that brings in too much drama in their lives. Okay, and they're not. They're not up for that anymore. Okay, tell me about the page of pentacles in reverse here. What's the action that Gemini will take? You are not making a move towards them. Seven of Swords here. Give me one more card for the action that Gemini will take. Give me one more card for the action that Gemini will take. Yeah, you are losing hope, Gemini. You have a lot of feelings for this person here. Okay, you are obsessing about communication, but you are not communicating with them. 
because with the seven of swords here, you're just being very sneaky, very deceptive. I'm getting here as, you know, your ego and pride is stopping you from moving towards this person here. But with the star in reverse, I also see as you as someone who's just giving up hope. You don't think this person will take you back. Because see, you see them as someone who's dropped you, right? Someone who's dropped this toxic connection here. They're no longer in your control. Okay, probably that's one of one thing also that how you see this person here. But yeah, you do view them as someone you want this new beginning with them. Okay, you want commitment with them because earlier you probably were non-committal towards this person, or this person was non-committal towards you. But the one who was non-committal now wants a commitment. Okay, but they're still not ready to open up. Okay, because they think it's done, done. I mean, things between you guys are over and done with. Finito. They want to with the action. They're obsessing about it, but they're still not communicating. Uh, they're just trying to hide their feelings. They're trying to hide their true intentions, okay? And this is all because they're giving up hope. They don't feel that things will ever work out between you guys. Gemini, if this is you, I feel you're waiting for the right time to approach this person because I saw the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Uh, yeah, for right now, you're trying to try to keep away from this connection as much as you can, okay? You're just fooling yourself, Gemini, if this is you on this side. All right, this person out here is giving up on this connection. The person on this side is literally losing patience. Patience, okay? They're unable to wait. They they don't want to waste their time and energy, you know, anymore because they've given enough, okay? They've given enough and now they want to be very, very careful about where they spend or invest their time and energy, okay? They've been waiting for you very patiently to come towards them, okay? And this is a situation where they've invested and put in a lot of effort here. But since there is no fruition, since you're taking forever to communicate with them, they're just giving up. I don't know if they're walking away yet, but I do see in the near future someone walking away. What's the seven of pentacles in reverse? Why is this the action that the person that Gemini is dealing with will take? Why is this this action that this person takes? Give me two cards for action. Eight of swords in reverse here, yeah. This person could have been stuck on you for a very long time, okay? But I think they're releasing themselves and they're wanting to move towards their wish fulfillment. See, this person knows that you are their wish fulfillment, okay? But I feel somewhere, somehow, yeah, this person is like, you know what? I don't want to waste my time. This person feels they don't want to waste their time anymore because you're taking forever to come towards them, right? They anyways view you as non-committal. They view you as someone who's just not making a move. They view you as someone where they wasted their time, you know, and they just felt strung along, okay? A very slow as moving connection where nothing was moving, okay? So, yeah, this person in their feelings, they're still waiting for you in their emotionally, but they're quite done is what I'm getting here, okay? Gemini, this could definitely be the sign, you know, that you could resonate more with. I don't know why. But yeah, in the actions, this person's uh, no longer waiting, okay? They're releasing themselves from you, yeah? And they're moving towards their wish fulfillment, okay? But I'm getting here, this person does see you as someone that who makes them very happy. But it's like they have no choice, okay? Three of cups at the bottom of the deck. With the nine of swords here. This person is stressing a lot about reconciliation. They do want this reconciliation with you. See, that's why the nine of cups here. But they're like, you know what? Uh, they can't do much about it. Once the eight of cups here as the near future. Once the eight of cups here as the near future. Give me two more cards for the near future. Once the eight of cups here as the near future. Yeah, someone's walking away because the other person still just watching and not doing anything about it that's why this person yeah see there's a lack of movement here six of wands in reverse here this is a relationship where there was a lack of public recognition there was a lack of forward movement there was a lack of success here okay so someone just feels the need to walk away from this relationship because they feel that things that things are just not moving forward there's just no growth here one of you here i'm getting definitely wanted commitment here okay because that's how the other person views you and I mean, you know what, this person who's watching you, someone's watching you, just walk away. They're watching you, see you move on in the near future here. But again, they're still watching you from a distance, keeping an eye on you. But um, they won't talk to you, you know. That's a lot of watching. Because with the six of wands in reverse here, I think you're dealing with someone who lacks the confidence. They have very low confidence, very low self-esteem. They lack self-belief, okay, that they can ha make things happen with you. See, that's why with the star in reverse here. Someone's losing hope. Gemini, I mean, if, if I'm talking to you, if this is for you, I still feel this is a crosswatch I'm reading for. But Gemini, if you want to approach this person, you got to do things now. You can't approach this person with a page of wands here and stuff like that, okay? And if this is a crosswatch, if the page of wands is not going to work. 
that's not going to work. You may want to keep things light and fun-hearted. You may want to approach this person in a way where you're testing the waters, you know, where they just don't slam the door in their face. But, well, they pretty much have, okay? And if you want to break that door, you've got to be the king of wands, okay? You've got to be something more aggressive. This passive approach, this fun-loving, fun, light, light games approach won't work, okay? Because with the Ten of Swords here, I mean, this person's pretty done with you, Okay? And you know it. They're walking away in the near future here. It's your self-confidence. It's all about the confidence, Gemini. Or it's all about the confidence, cross-watcher. Whatever this is. And the magician is the best possible outcome here. Someone's manifesting something. What's the magician? What's the magician as the best possible outcome? Someone's manifesting. This is you, Gemini. Manifesting. Okay. Give me one more card. Yeah, see, this... The best possible outcome here is there is manifestation, okay? Someone's still manifesting you, Gemini. You're manifesting them, but you're still at a crossroads, right? Not not being able to make a decision because you're very confused here. You still don't know which is the right way to approach this person here. Two of Wands is the energy where, you know what, um, in or out, left or right. But I don't know why, but somehow, somehow I feel that this person is still trying to decide about what is the right approach. I don't feel that whoever's manifesting this relationship is someone's like, you know what, like I'm out of this or am I in this? This person is in it. They're manifesting this, okay? But they just don't know which is the right way to approach you. How can they bridge the gap between you guys? Because I feel this is a long-distance relationship for a few of you. So someone out here is uh, literally wanting, to, is, is waiting and watching, you know, of how they can uh, bridge the gap between you guys, okay? How you guys can come together. But with the Seven of Cups here, this person is very overwhelmed. They keep thinking about you. They dream about you. They're in their illusions. But see, that's what the problem is here. The Magician, the Seven of Cups, it's all the cards of illusions, right? But you really got to take action and make things happen. That's what's happening. And that's why there's no moment, uh, there's no movement here in this connection. Okay? I hope this reading resonates. I hope this makes sense. If it does, do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.